Welcome back to the Clash Pack. Last week, we met 18 eager contestants. Some ready to make some friends. Some ready for love. Yeah. Some ready for violence. And I'll literally cut off all your hair in your sleep. And all ready to make their share of $100,000. Your house will be full of challenges and inconveniences that would drive any sane person away. You will have three categories of complications. Food-based. Cans. Cans. All canned food. <laughs> yeah, there's only hot dogs. Well, I'm vegan, so we're going to have a problem here. Oh, not this week, you're not, princess. Here you go. All of our meals are dinner for one microwavable meals. Oh, we're in open flame. Environment based. The thermostat won't change from 62. <laughs> cool. That early. Yep, electricity does not work. And sleep base. <gasps> Only one of the bedrooms is unlocked. So you have to all share one room? No, I don't. I can pick a lot. In Alabama, it's illegal for you to put an ice cream cone in your bed. Come on! The contestants survived the first night. Let's see how they do when faced with a challenge. This is disgusting. Aren't you glad that she got a uh, hunky beefcake to open up all these cans for you? Uh, uh. Woo! Yeah? OMG, you are so hot, Colton. <laughs> yeah, that was so, so That's sexy. Cool. Yeah. Do you think you could pop one open on your head? Hell yeah, I can! <laughs> Okay, ow, ow, ow. I'm sorry, give me a second. This this metal is way thicker than a beer can. <laughs> ah! Another bank note. What's it say? Enjoying your stay at the clash pad. Get ready for things to get kicked up a notch. So fun. It's time for your challenge. The golden goose egg hunt. Oh, fun. Each egg is filled with clues that will lead you to the golden egg. Whoever finds the golden egg first wins an excellent prize that will make your stay at the clash pad a little bit easier. Does it say what the prize is? No. Here's the first clue. As I dry, I get wet. In me is the first egg you can get. Oh, it's a towel. It's a towel. Yeah. We should go check the bathroom. Yeah. We have to beat them. We cannot let ugly people win. We can just look for eggs in places that shouldn't have eggs. Oh my god, you're a genius. I know I am. And all she wanted to do for Mother's Day was to go kayaking, and so we got everything together and we went out into these fjords, right? Yeah, the Skylar and Aaron are basically whipping their tits out for this incredibly mediocre man. I mean, I'm gay, and even I can admit when a man is attractive. And this guy? That's right, which they're like, the glaciers turn into on the side, and so what we would do is we would take off our hats, and we would like put them in little berries and put them in, and then we took it home, and we went back to the and like every year now we have... <clears throat> Good morning, contestants. Having fun at the Clash Pad? Hope you guys are coordinated because things are about to get musical. They're going to make us play musical chairs, aren't they? You're about to play the most important game of musical chairs in your life. They're making us play musical chairs. I <laughs> hope I don't sit on anyone's lap. Yeah, because then you would be disqualified. Uh, the six of you will dance around the chairs to music provided by our house assistant, Eliza. Whoever wins the final round wins a prize that will make your stay at the clash pad a bit more comfortable. Ooh, that sounds so fun. Why are you should stay next to me? I want to be next to Wyatt too. Oh, good. Because I want to be as far away as possible. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you want a bite? Oh, the frozen? Yeah. I'll take a bite if you do. Thanks. I don't want to bite. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a banknote. Ready? Ready? Greetings, contestants. We hope you're enjoying your stay at the Clash Pad. 
Have you gotten to know your housemates? Get ready to get to know them a little bit more in our game of pad trivia. No one knows what their questions will be. Other contestants must guess their answers by writing them down on the whiteboards located on the kitchen counter. Whoever answers the questions correctly will win a prize to make their stay at the clash pad more tolerable. Well, <laughs> I'll go get the whiteboard. I'll help you. <laughs> okay, did you notice that? Hey, I'm so glad you said something because I thought I was imagining it. <laughs> Love forming in the pad as we speak. All right, party people, grab them while they're hot. Hot off the press. Sorry. There you go. Can I have the purple one, please? That's the pink one. There's okay. one. Wow. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> okay. How many house plants has Jordan killed? Difficult. <laughs> okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. 17. <laughs> Dear God, Ellie, what do you think I'm doing? I don't know. It was four, okay? Four. All right, All right next. What's Andre's scar sign? Oh, I know this. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Oh my God. Bianca, I did it. <gasps> Shut up, the golden egg. Shut the hell up. No, you didn't. Look. Oh. It's a menu. I can get real food. And you get to share it with someone in the house. <laughs> well, time to go tell everyone they lose. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They don't know we won. Should we just let them waste their time? God, I love you so much. Um, hi. Um, it's not really a riddle or anything, but I, um, I don't really want to do this, but it says to critique a friend in the pad. Um, so, what? Sydney, I think that maybe Okay, we... wait, let me see. Why is this handwritten in glittery gel pen? Ooh, right? Kiss the person you think is hottest on the mouth. Oh, good! Wait, I don't want any of them to kiss me on my mouth. Oh, I love a vulnerable man that can admit when he's in a pickle. Okay, are either of you gonna sit there? You can move on. Oh, but this chair is so comfortable. Okay, so then you can forfeit. Oh, sorry, Dakota. Looks like you waited too long. Okay. Well, I guess I'm out then. Bye. Hey, where are you going? Oh, well, I just got out. I don't feel like witnessing whatever that's gonna be, so I'll see you later. But you're a part of the house, so you should stay. Thanks. No thanks. Talk to you later. <laughs> Let's just say I never went to Home Depot ever again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, round two. <clears throat> Where did Ellie have the panic attack that got her fired from her job on the first day? Oh, wow, that is not as playful as the last couple. It was in front of 30 preschoolers and one of them went into anaphylactic shock and I couldn't handle it. Is the kid okay? Uh, next question. Oh my god. Can you just read the Can next question? Wait, hold on. Is the kid okay? What is the reason most of June's relationships have ended? Yikes. Oh. Is that even a trivia question? Like, is there really one answer? Yes. <laughs> um, a lot of my boyfriends have used me for my money, so, and I wasn't born rich, I just got really lucky after college. It's a good job. This game is becoming less fun. <laughs> I need a minute. Really? You guys? We got bored, we wanted to make it fun for ourselves too. Wait. Did you guys not follow the clues? Did you cheat? Yeah, of course they did. Oh, nice. What'd you win? The menu. And she gets to share the prize with me. Can you share with anyone else? Colton, why would I give you food? Uh, I don't know. I thought we were friends. I even said you were the hottest one here. <laughs> you too, bitch. I know I'm hot. This is not new information. Okay, well, do you at least get a limit as to how much you could put on the menu? Um, no, I don't think 
expensive. Just over a bunch of extras. Yeah, sure. We'll share with you. Yeah. you think that? Well, you just sort of stormed off and you very much seem like you don't want to be here. Mm, yeah, no, I don't. <sighs> Nothing happened. I just think that reality TV is garbage and it promotes garbage people and I really don't like Wyatt. So as long as he's in the house, I'm just gonna be anywhere else. What's your problem with Wyatt? I'm just trying to understand where you're coming from. No, he's a privileged asshole who's taking advantage of the women in the house. I don't have the time to deal with it. So don't you think that's a little unfair? You don't really know him. No, I know exactly what kind of person he is. He's just like every other man who's using the women here to stroke his ego. Okay. Well, the point is, like it or not, you need the money and having a bad attitude isn't gonna help anything. And we need Wyatt to win, so you have to keep the peace just for a little bit. Then after we leave the clash pad, you can be as mean to him as you want. Okay. Fine. I want to be a little shady, but I can do it. Please, I don't need to hear you tell me how to breathe or look on the bright side. It's actually quite the opposite. I want to encourage you to feel your pain. That was really scary. You had a lot of responsibility. I can barely take care of myself. Why did I think I could take care of 30 children? It's my biggest, most embarrassing regret, and now it's being broadcast to the entire world. The kid is fine now. That's good. He could be dead because I was freaking out like I always do. But that's the thing, he is fine. You did what you could in the moment and you have to forgive yourself for what you couldn't do. I just feel like my mind is a prison sometimes and you guys are seeing the worst of it. People wanna know you for you. You don't have to show up as anyone other than who you are in this very moment. You know, the kid and I shared an ambulance. Only had to pay half. Pretty good deal. This is ridiculous. What else is on here? Oh my god. They get worse. Oh god. What was the name of the baby that Taylor gave up for adoption when she was a teenager? That wasn't in my pre-screening questionnaire. Birth records are public. What is wrong with you? I don't want to play anymore. Me neither. Yeah, we freaking forfeit. You can't just forfeit. Watch us. Well, fine. None of you won anyway. Phoebe got every single question correct. Yeah, that was... weird. Well, Phoebe doesn't want your prize. Well, that's her choice to make. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm a chicken taco. Would you rather eat something like that? Oh, nice. Oh, hey, baby, that would be like that. Hey, I thought you said you were ordering extra food for us. Hey. Colton, we don't care about you. Okay. Is that one yours? This one? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So, uh, we can open. You really remember everything, but I hate it. Hey. You okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm so hungry, I haven't had meat in three days. How am I gonna keep these bad boys in shape? 
You two realize that they're bullying you, right? They're not bullying me, okay? I'm hot. Bullying is for nerds. Bullying doesn't always look the same. When I was in third grade, I had this pet rock and... Sorry, what was his name? Was, was, it, was it his? Or... Uh, yes, yeah. Um, his name was... Lamp Bedson. Anyway, the point is, these two kids were really jealous of Lamp, and so they stole him from my backpack. What are and their names? I'm gonna find them when we're done filming here, and I'm gonna get you your rock back. No, Colton, the point is I stood up to them. I told them how they were treating me wasn't okay, and they apologized, and they gave Lamp back to me. <sighs> oh, thank God. Do you know why I'm telling you this? Because you brought Lamp Edson with you? Uh, no. And you want to give him to me? No. Because you have a big crush on me? No. Oh my god. The next time that they're being mean to you or fake flirting with you, you're gonna tell them that that's not okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. They're not, they're not fake flirting with me, right? They think I'm hot, right? Please check your network connection. Sorry guys, give us a minute. What did we miss? They found out that I had a baby when I was a teenager and I gave him up for adoption. Oh, baby Mason? What? I could sense a piece of you is missing. Are you a psychic? Oh, we decided to forfeit. We didn't need the prize. The prize isn't yours, it's Phoebe's. Well, what is it? Oh. I want to take the prize. Are you Phoebe? Serious? My room will have working electricity and I get to share it with someone and I want to share it with Ellie. She'll have somewhere to plug in her nightlight and she won't wake up in the middle of the night scared from the Eliza yelling facts at her. Well, that's great of you. I know this forfeit thing was all about solidarity, so... <laughs> What's the last question they had for me? Give me your worst. Um... How did Phoebe tell her neighbor she ran over their cat? Oh my god, Phoebe. That's correct. What is this?! There's no walk in our tacos. You're kidding me. We want more. No, why would you throw it away? <laughs> what we want it. Look, the card said we didn't get whatever we wanted. We didn't get what the f we wanted. Well, we ordered guac. It must have been a mix up with the restaurant. No, you know what? If we ordered it, someone here probably stole it. Yeah, they're all jealous that we found the egg. They should be as nice to us as possible, because we could honestly just leave, and they'd all go home with no money. Wait, honestly? Yeah. We're the writers of our own narrative. Do you know how much plot we'd get if the show airs? You're so right. Think of the Instagram sponsorships. We'd be 
the ones that got away. Girl, for sure. Honestly, f these people. Uh -huh. f this house. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave. Yeah. What's a few grand here when you can make it bank on every talk show in America? Guys, Kylie and Bianca are talking about leaving. What? Why? They can't. They just want a prize. I know. They literally just hate all of us. Okay. Well, I need this money. So do I. We can't make him stay. 